AI has created its own internet and you can use it for free. This has blown my mind completely and I think it's gonna blow yours. Let's jump right in. So the website's called websim.ai and basically what it does is you type anything you want and it'll create a website, app, whatever you're looking for. You can create websites that exist or don't exist and it'll come up with the website on the fly and generate it for you. Let's jump in and give this a shot. So WebSim gives you the option to use any AI model you want, but because Sonnet 3.5 is such a powerful coding engine, this is gonna be the best way to go. So let's keep it on Sonnet 3.5 and let's start creating some interesting stuff. So the first thing I'm gonna do is ask it to create a Reddit clone. So as you can see, it recreated Reddit completely. This is not real Reddit. This is a AI created Reddit that just happened on the fly. And let's try to use it. So anytime you click on anything on these websites it creates, it actually creates these pages on the fly. So these aren't pages that are pre-generated. The AI will understand what the website is saying and create a new page based on what's printed on the website. So this fake Reddit community called WebSim Dev, and we're jumping in on this comment. So they're introducing us to WebSim, AI-assisted coding, real-time simulation, viral virtual user testing. So this is just like incredible stuff. It even has fake comments AI generated. Really, really cool. Let's see what else it can do. So if I come back to the homepage, it actually shows us some of the stuff that people have been generating. So it shows us the top apps, games, websites that users have generated this week. So let's try this acid synth. That's creepy. Let's try another one. Really cool. Let's see what else it can do. So if we come back and we keep scrolling on top of the week, let's see a few others that catch my eye. Let's try the AI cat generator. So this is generating a cat in real time. Let's see what it comes up with. And there's a cat. This is not a real cat. This is an AI generated cat. Looks like a real cat, but it's not a real cat. And every seven seconds, it'll create a new cat for us. It also has some funny angles for these cats. So let's go back and let's check out some of the other top ones this week. So here we have a 3D ball rolling game. Let's see how this turned out. So this is kind of cool. And again, all of this is generated using AI. Yeah, this is really cool. All right, let's go back and see what else we can do. So here we have a Game Boy emulator. All right, let's see what game. Pokemon, yes. Who doesn't love Pokemon? Red version, my favorite. This is so cool. So the fact that AI created this is actually insanely mind-blowing. I don't know where it got the details of Pokemon, but this is pretty awesome. All right, let's jump back out and see what else it can do. So let's try this one. It actually would generate a full operating system for us. So here we go. So this is like a virtual computer using AI. So it has a cyber OS, CSS emulator, audio analysis, AI prompts, visual spectrum. Let's try some of these out.
This is so cool. So it's a computer within a web browser, within my computer, within my web browser. This is like inception happening in real time using AI. So apparently you have to pay for D and D. So we're not gonna actually do this, but this is pretty cool. So you can kind of see where this goes. So I've just been testing out some of the ones that people have done. Let me try creating one of my own here. Let's see what it does. All right, so I had to create a website for coffee mugs to buy coffee mugs, and I made it funny coffee mugs. You can see that it doesn't really work great with text. AI doesn't do a great job of that, but it did create the site for me, and it looks like it works. So let's check out some other stuff it can do. So if we go back to the popular ones this week, we can see we have image generators, random game generators, a few of the games we've already tried. Let's try this Minecraft, Minecraft Classic. This is really cool. So it's actually created Minecraft for us using AI. This is so cool. So I suck at Minecraft, obviously, but this is really, really cool. Let's check out this interdimensional roller coaster created. So this dimension is called Earth Prime, and we're going through this roller coaster. Again, this is totally AI generated. Let's generate a new reality. So this is the Neon Dreamscape. Here we go. This is pretty cool. Let's see what else it can do. So this is a hyper-realistic 4K Ultra HD rendering engine. So it's actually generating all of this automatically using AI. It's fully 3D rendered. This is insane. So we can change some of the elements here using this 3D engine. And this is actually using 3JS, which is an open source uh, JavaScript library to generate 3D stuff using JavaScript. So. Just really, really cool stuff. So the other thing I wanted to show you is that there's a full Reddit for WebSim right now. So if you go to Reddit forward slash R forward slash WebSim, you come to their subreddit and you can see that it's pretty active. People are giving a lot of tips and tricks and also showing some of the really cool stuff they make with WebSim. So you can come in here and check this out. Someone recreated Macintosh 1984 using WebSim. So you can also go and see what some of the users of WebSim have created. So if you find someone that you really like, you can see what they've done within WebSim, which is actually really cool as well. You can see this is a full old school version of Mac. So for any boomers out there, if you want some good memories, check this out. But what's really great about this is that you get access to Sonnet, GPT, and you don't have to pay for any of it. So you're basically using this really awesome 3D generator, which is acting like a browser to create anything you want using these AI systems without having to pay the subscription fee. So I'm imagining that this is going to become a paid tool at some point. Obviously, it's free right now. And these costs for them must be insane with all the people using this, racking up the bill, paying for APIs for Sonnet and GPT and things like that. So I don't imagine this is going to be free for very long. But come in here, take advantage of this, play with this system while it's still around. I think it's going to blow your mind some of the stuff you can create and some of the stuff that other people have created. So if you like this video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel. I'm going to bring a lot more cool AI stuff to you. I'm also going to show you how to make money online using AI. And if you're interested in doing that, subscribe to my newsletter in the description below.